Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today in this session, we are going to address a student query which is related to a very important topic which is TLB hit miss. So essentially, this is also one of the favorite topics of the examiners. And in this question, I would like to say that this uh, deals with a variety of aspects of computer architecture. Like for example, it has the TLB hit miss version in it then it also has the page faults and an interesting twist between the normal scenario and the hit miss scenario. So now what is this twist? To know that you'll have to view my video. So let's dive into the question and let's see what the question is. So welcome back and in this question now what we have interesting things to find out is what we are going to study right now. So uh, I'll just briefly go through the question we have consider a system with a two level paging scheme in which a regular memory access time takes 150 nanoseconds and the servicing and servicing a page fault takes 8 milliseconds. Now, why do I highlight regular memory access? Because generally you don't find the same term in such kind of questions. So they would either say that uh, the cache access memory time is this or it takes so much to access a TLB and uh, the TLB hit, miss or service time is this such kind of things are given but over here they have given that a regular memory access takes so and so time so basically they are not just referring to only the access uh, in a particular scenario but they are actually referring to a normal scenario so that is what we need to pay attention over here okay so i basically refer to as uh, refer to this as that this is the memory access in a normal scenario now by a normal scenario i mean that uh, there does not exist any tlb miss or a page fault okay and then because then they discuss the page fault and other things in the later part of the question so then they say that servicing a page fault takes so and so time and then they say that you know the average instruction takes this much of cpu time and two memory accesses and then they say that hit ratio is 90 percent and the page fault is one in every 10,000 instructions okay uh, that is the effect uh, now they are asking what is the average instruction execution time so this is what is required average instruction execution time just noted down that this is also different they are now asking the average instruction execution time and also here they give basically a mixture of different times when they ask about this they say that average instruction takes 100 nanoseconds of cpu time and two memory accesses Okay, lots of information is there, so it's better to jot the given things down so that we have clarity of what is given and what is required. So I clearly write it down as normal memory access time is 150 nanoseconds and page fault service time is 8 milliseconds. So uh, one thing I would like to uh, emphasize, I always specify that, you know, whenever you are given two quantities with different units just don't delay it for the later simplification it's really better to convert it there and then in the common unit either convert like in this example either convert both of them to milliseconds or convert both of them to nanoseconds because often you know what happens as we just go down solving the question we forget about the units and then when we put the values we put them as it is and that becomes a major reason of getting negatives in our paper and we really don't want that right so it's better to simplify it there and then so like over here what i have done is i have converted it into nanoseconds because again it is really better to convert it into smaller units or 
the units in which most of the things are given like for example here i have uh, two quantities given in nanoseconds this is the first one this is the second one and one given in milliseconds so it's always better to convert all the three in nanoseconds so that's what i've done over here okay then i have also written this that one instruction one instruction is equals to 100 nanoseconds of cpu time plus two memory accesses and i don't have average memory access time which i need to find out so it's really better if you also solve in this manner in your rough work thing and you just put question mark in front of the things which you need to find out okay because uh, just uh, writing down the given things and writing it uh, writing the things which you need to find out simultaneously will save a lot of your time okay and then we have the tlb hit ratio as 90 percent you can also write down over here that miss ratio is 10 percent although that is very much obvious and then we have the page fault rate as 1 by 10,000. so now the final thing i am first going to find out what the average memory access time which is required okay so i find out the average memory access time like this so first of all i write the time which it takes which it takes in the normal scenario sorry about this yeah so which it takes in the normal scenario which is 150 nanoseconds now when there occurs some tlb miss or the, some page faults that is what i'm going to deal in this second portion okay so i say that in 10 percent of the cases what will happen i'll have to i'll have to put twice the memory access time as given above okay so now this memory access time is actually comprising of tlb access time as well they have not specified in the question so we assume that it is included itself in it okay and so i write 10 percent of 2 into 150 plus uh, now this why it is twice of this uh, normal memory access time that you can always find out in my previous videos which you can see in the same playlist or you can just check the playlist on computer architecture i will also provide the links in the description as well as in the suggested videos above okay so now 10 percent of twice of 150 this is done plus the page faults we need to handle now they said that the page fault rate is 1 by 10,000 so 1 by 10,000 into the service time for one page fault which is 8 into 10 to power 6 nanoseconds so now when you just simplify this entire thing it comes out to be 980 nanoseconds so I've simplified it over here you can just uh, check the steps uh, by matching with this okay now once we have this average memory access time we actually needed to find what we uh, had to find this average execution time for an instruction and it was given the rule thing was given over here that one instruction takes 100 nanoseconds of cpu time so this is this is uh, we can't uh, you know reduce or do anything in this this is there as is plus twice into memory accesses so for this we had to find this average memory access time now that we have the average memory access time we just need to substitute it over here so that is what i have done over here i have just written 100 nanoseconds plus twice into 980 so once you simplify this you get 2060 nanoseconds as your answer now is the final step to mark the option so you have given you've uh, in this question you've been given four options which i have shown over here and correctly the d1 is what corresponds to our answer so i mark the d option so that's all for this question i'll be coming up with many more such important questions which have been you know emailed to me or mentioned as comments uh, and I suggest you that you just try solving that questions if you don't feel like going through the solution part it's completely fine but I really uh, suggest you that you go through those questions try solving them up because often what happens is that uh, often our peers what they suggest as doubts 
they are generally some very important questions and in our childhood days we actually used to get them as the questions in our exams so often the doubts of our peers used to come as questions in our exams so that might also happen in gate with you so try solving the questions and let me know what you are able to get as answer in the answers or the comment section below so don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed till now so i'll be back with some more questions suggested to me uh, uh, by many viewers and till then stay tuned keep practicing keep learning thank you hope you like this video in case you did please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to support the channel also if you're the one who has not subscribed to my channel but would like to see more of such videos please press the subscribe icon and also click this bell icon to get notified with my latest videos share as much as you can to spread the knowledge to the world i'll be back with more of such videos till then stay tuned stay healthy keep learning thank you